What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video I got something special and very rare and unique. Check this out, this is a sleeping bag in a can. This is a pretty vintage, got it from eBay, from somebody who have one. I actually searched it online, no videos about that, like that, sealed in a can. Bag, sleeping, vacuum packed. M1949 date packed August 1952 wow 66 years since it was packaged so let's open it up and release this 60 year old air from this can how cool that is look how thick it is this is the bottom what it looks like of course let's make a thumbnail anyways let's open it up and see what's inside I honestly don't even know what to expect there is a key right here I'm wearing glass because it's freezing. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's kind of funny. Okay, right here, what you do is you need to pull it up like this. And then it's so interesting how you open this can. Then you grab this key and put it in. And then all you have to do is just twist it like this. All the way around. Wow. Look at that, how it's opening. Oh, I see plastic bag inside there. Let's open it all the way around. Man, it's freezing today. It's like opening a can of sardine. This is so awesome. Got stuck over here or something. Okay, now that you open it, you have to use actually the same key. I guess I could crack it open, but I want to open it perfectly. So you can do the same thing on this side, looks like. Boom, like that. It's just so satisfying to open a can like this. They don't make things like that anymore much. Ah, kind of tired. I'll open it all the way around. So the lid will just pop off. Pop off. Boom. Now we got here a vacuum sealed bag. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look, it rusted a little bit. I guess they can rust it too. Probably going to move to the floor to open the rest of it. Okay, this is what we are dealing with. There is a sleeping bag. Check this out. 62 year old sleeping bag. It says US on it. I guess there is just straps if you want to wrap it up. Okay, makes sense. But look how short that is. Probably will be way too small for that. You know what? Let's put it to the test. Let me lay down. Right now it's like 17 degrees in here. Let's see. If I'm going to get cold or what? Get inside of it all the way. There's some weird powder coming off of it, but hopefully it doesn't hurt me. Check this out. I'm a little bit too tall for this one. Hopefully they have small, medium or large, different sizes. But as you can see, this is not bad. The zipper on the inside, wow, this is awesome. Again, it does not have the hood like new ones. Maybe I'm just too tall for this sleeping bag. Let me know in comments below. But this is cool. Wow, it's brand new, I'm definitely keeping it. I just thought it was really cool that it's sleeping bag sealed, vacuum sealed in a can. I had to check it out and show it to you, it's just so unique. I really do think this is supposed to be a hood and your face coming off from here, but I'm just too tall for this bag. Hopefully back in the day they had different sizes for the tall guys because I would have been in trouble in this sleeping bag. Look at that stuff coming off from over there. I wonder what they put over there because it's really, really dusty. Ooh. Maybe I'll wash it before I use it. But yeah, let me know in comments below what do you think. Definitely a very unique item. 
Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.